Good morning, ladies. Come on, eat your greens. Eat your greens. That way, set. We well, only got uh, four. Just hoping for a six. I eat about four eggs a day normally, but I also grow with chickens or grow eggs at least, so I can give this guy uh, eggs. He has about six a day. Really, really good to have the eggs and also the shell. Although Bruno is a bit fussy when it comes to the shell, I try to crunch it up. And this is uh, great for his coat. I guess the most important part for the egg is the amino acids for building the big muscle. So when we went away on our trip, it was the posse yum that we took with us, and that was great because you could take it on the road and it, you don't have to freeze it. It stays really, really, uh, well, it preserves really well. And it's got all the, the good tucker. He has increased his muscle mass just over almost two and a half kg, not quite. 2.4 kg compared to what we weighed him uh, before we set off on our trip. Pre doing our trip, we put the harness on, and I've got to thank uh, Bear. Bear's a uh, mate over in Norway who runs Husky Dogs, and I got a bit of information from him about how to set up a harness on a dog. And to start off with, we just had Bruno pulling the harness around the farm with a bag of sand, and we increased the sand as he got stronger, and that became something which he started to enjoy doing because he got praise for it and he realised that he was getting or making his master happy at least. Anyway, I've been very, very excited about this whole project. Four days away, three nights and four days. It was a bloody, a magic time and something I really want to do again. And I was painting it as Bruno's final trip, but actually, he's so strong now, I reckon we could squeeze another one out of him. Someone said to me, uh, we want to see uh, how you made the cart and all the rest of that there. I hope you made a video of that, and the truth is I didn't, because I didn't think it would be interesting, but assumption, it's the mother of all. Anyway, I want to show you the cart and explain to you a little bit about it. This is a very, very short video on the cart and Bruno and the mission we had. The video will be coming out soon. What made this mission away really fun for me was I wasn't filming it, my son was, and he dropped us off and picked us up with his trailer here. The first important part of the cart was to get these wheels. I got these from the refuse station in Motawaka. The guy wanted 80 bucks, he said, oh, it's aluminium. Arb actually told me it's not, he said, it's magnesium. There are a couple of motorbike wheels, and what I wanted was something that would be soft enough to go over rocks and sand, but not too heavy on the road. First of all, I thought about bike wheels, but nah, they were too... This was the right choice. Bike wheels would have been too light for it. It worked really well. And they run on their own bearings there, which is just fixed. So I've just got a piece of metal I've screwed in. It's pretty rough, but it works. And man, it's been over some rough places and hasn't fallen a bit yet, so it's worked okay. The old wagon wheel. One's bigger than the other. I think that's the front wheel, and this is uh, the back wheel over here. This is the entire bottom of the cart, and it's made out of three ply. It's very light. The entire cart is framed with this 25 by 50 millimeter. Uh, it's H4. And here's the harness up here that goes over Bruno. Just a soft piece. And it comes back through the harness and it just ties around here. Once you release it off that, he can walk away. So there's a double floor there, which has stuff concealed underneath it. Knife, firearm, fishing rod, mattress goes on top. So the idea of constructing a cart like this came into my mind when one time I'd taken Bruno for a walk and he was just buggered, he wanted to stop and I thought geez if I could just put him on something and wheel him home like a baby in a pram would be sweet. And then I thought what about a cart that he could pull but when he's tired I could pull him and that's exactly what we did on this trip. The first day I think I probably pulled him half, the second day probably, I don't know, maybe a third and the last day he just didn't need a rest. We did a lot of pre-training with him to this trip, getting him strong, but by the end of the trip, he was visibly much stronger and running and enjoying the actual job. Every dog needs a purpose, and his purpose, he worked out very quickly, was towing the cart. Anyway, that's a little bit about uh, this cart and Bruno, and I'm looking forward to bringing you this video. It'll be coming out very soon. It's something a little bit uh, special for me, because I just wanted to do this, and I've been looking forward to it a long time. And now that I've done it, I just can't get out fast enough and do it again. But day to day, work, responsibilities, animals, children, life, we've all got to pay our bills, do our work, and you just can't always go off into dreamland and do what you love all the time. So I've got something to really look forward to, which I, I'm really excited about the next mission. I'm not going to say anything about that until we've got it all sorted in place, but 
this last one was a total success as far as Bruno went. He had a fantastic time. Anyway, that's it. Be good, can't be good. Be careful and uh, go steady over the mad season, the Christmas holiday break. And uh, we'll catch you soon.